Yo, welcome to another episode of my Elden Ring recap as I get ready to dive back into it. Um, we're going through some old footage across different devices. It's a little unorthodox of a little recap video. I'm not doing fancy edits because we kind of wrap around. We eventually see the walking mausoleum. That's this, right? So this is earlier. This is near Ailing Village. That draw, that little rickety bridge is a key little map icon to remember throughout these two episodes so um as we sweep through let's go back to this we go to the ailing village we get the sight of grace we go across the rickety bridge and we make our way around to that walking mausoleum and that's where we left off right down we went to the beach the walking dead beach killed all those little zombies uh this is near the merchant at the bottom of the weeping peninsula looking back up see the earth tree to the right um and so there's the walking mausoleum looking super dope uh why these recaps are really but this is over near that sort of tower <coughs> there's like a bunch of like meteor craters these dudes come out but here's the craziest part hold on of all of the things in elden ring of all of the dangers and all of the uh crazy monster designs and eldritch horrors right a some of my creepiest moments were two jump scares by bears and then what's about to happen right here i'm i've already and i see one enemy left and he's just glitched out t-posing on me oh i this this is creed and pure dread too you, i think everyone's killed i see him in my peripheral i'm like wait what oh my god oh my god like terrified i literally wanted to just hard quit my game and uninstall at that point that's over there by that sorcery tower so you'll see through these clips i leave we go and we beat godric which i'll show in another video boom okay when we come back we do some areas in knock run when we come back so this as you can see right behind my character uh if you look at where my sword is the hand that's holding the sword right behind it. There's the drawbridge, right? So earlier I was more at that level. We go up to the ailing village. We go down to that side of grace across the rickety bridge. Um, and then we go on the plateau. We wrap around, go down to the beach, uh, walking mausoleum, etc. This is now back over there, but I went across the road and there's like a watchtower, like just like a military watchtower, pretty routine. There's not much there. Uh, well, there's like a chest that one I think gives you a weapon. And anyways, uh, this is at the top of it. I thought I had a sick view. Um, so in this picture, if you look down and to the right, that's where this is taken from. Looking over there at Stormvale and basically where you begin. If you look on the right, the middle right of the character, you see the there's like a statue of somebody in a robe bent over like old creepy. Um, that's the like building that you come out of for the tutorial cave, essentially. Um, this is me looking back at the fort. Now you can actually see what was shooting those arrows at me. Down there. You know, I use magic. Yes, I do. But this is a clean. I know it's just a little gargoyle thing. But look how clean the, mele the melee combat is. A block, counter, stun him. Hit him with that execute. Then I even switch the storm blade. Oh, that guy didn't end his life in a pleasurable position. Um, all right, so as you can see, I stop and then I go to Caleb for a while, which we'll show in another video. Then I come back. This is the ruins over there in the Weeping Peninsula. This is me looking back to the starting tutorial cave, but from a different angle super close to the walking mausoleum looking back at the that's actually where you truly start before you have your first fight that you're supposed to lose all right then i go to laernia this is but this is a weeping peninsula so this was hilarious so this is obviously back in the weeping peninsula if you look to the right on the screen basically right off of screen and down is where the rickety bridge is okay so this is still back on weeping peninsula this is above the merchant that's right next to the collapse wall that we go through in in the video the part one where we get shot at by the archer 
but this was great. So this is a sorcery tower. Has a riddle, seek three wise beasts is what it said. Now what my mind truly originally went to the owls, but what's hilarious and why I kept this clip is because it says seek three wise beasts. I guess I'm not one of them. <laughs> a little, I just straight plummet. Seek three wise bees. Okay, I'm gonna go seek them. Watch me seek them. Watch me do it. Not what I meant. That's not how you draw it up, you know? But so this is obviously near where the archer is, looking up at the fort that I didn't go to because of the archer, and one of these crucial trees where you get great loot. So I don't go all the way to the fort yet. I, I think I get right inside and get the uh, side of grace. And then I, I go to somewhere else. And then this rickety bridge again. So earlier I would have been up near Ailing Village. We would have went across the rickety bridge and then wrap our thing under that rickety bridge. I'm sitting up here. Now this is near the rickety bridge, like right there, straight ahead is kind of where the rickety bridge is. Okay. I'm just painting like, okay, I'm going along this cliff line, uh, cliff edge. I want to make sure that I try to kind of like sweep across each tier of the topography of the, the landscape, boom, each like plateau. And so that's all I'm doing here is just going along the edge. I drop down, I look back for loot, like the little flowers you can grab. I'm like, cave? Okay pretty cool they have so this game is so brilliant and dense and rich and vibrant with things like that with just hidden dungeons and catacombs and bosses mini bosses I, it's so dope it's so so dope so i like that video just how truly organically and accidentally i even found that the benefit of kind of going across each plateau each little area of the landscape are these the same video this one's just a little longer. It's me coming out of it. Another good thing about these, doing these recap videos is not only I can relearn and like kind of re-appreciate my journey. And then this dude over here, oh, that's why I did it. I go in here, I'm all chill. He comes out here and shadow pounces me. We're gonna ambush him, boys. Everyone on three. Everyone had left him. Ah, by myself. They abandoned me. That's funny. Um... That little statue, one of those that points the way. This would have been my first one of these I interacted with, I believe. So we're this is all still on Weeping Peninsula. Again, to the left is the rickety bridge. To the right is the walking mausoleum. Ur tree straight ahead, obviously. The fort kind of in that same direction, straightish ahead. Walking mausoleum. Yeah, but like, what is? what did he do? I still don't actually think I know this. Two years later, guide and gatekeeper for those returning to the roots. I know he's supposed to point you to bosses that give you uh, death roots, which is a type of uh, like resource, a material you use to upgrade or something. And certain bosses have them. But I don't think he, did he even point in a certain direction? I think I got jipped. He robbed your boy. Yeah, I think I get, I get robbed here. Um, that's me by the Ur tree and one of those, I think they're called like putrid avatars, but almost every Ur tree has one of these as a boss. And then I'm that, at that I'm like, yeah, I'll come back to that. Um, me over top the walking mausoleum, which is sick. Me getting that piece of loot, overlooking it, sweeping every plateau. Um, we'll save that for the next video because this is obviously I start. Now that I've kind of worked my way around Weeping Peninsula, I have explored almost a little every, uh, every little area, almost. Like in this case, I might not have beaten that catacombs, but I have the fast travel to go back to it. I, um, I know that that putrid avatar is there. I would have beaten some of the mini bosses, um, but we'll, we'll do the fort stuff in the next video. Thanks for watching. And again, I know these could, they're unorthodox, but I just think they're interesting ways to uh, recap them. They're much more convenient. It keeps them at 1080p and 60 frames per second for me. It lets me delete stuff off of my hard drives. 
Um, plus, I get to like see the perspective and provide, you know, oh, this is what I was thinking at the time. This is now me looking back. Oh, I still haven't even figured out what that does. Uh, maybe people in the comments can help me. I don't want to be handheld. Definitely don't want to be spoon fed any stuff, but spoiler free, you can cleanly, you know, answer my questions. That would be great. If not, um, all good. Uh, but again, thanks for watching.